hi all so in this video we are going to see uh, in the production what happens sometimes if we have not put a proper validations for the name or uh, uh, in some scenario we can't put a validation for the length of the characters then this kind of error occurs and what is the error actually so let's go to the process details and see the errors so if we check the errors very carefully it is written that an error occur while trying to write to entity so there is some entity which is uh, trying to write to there and here the error you can see here here it is displaying like data too long for column name at row 1 maria db exception data too long uh, for column so some data was passed in here which was too long okay so in this example what i have considered is let us see so first of all i have built a cdt with just one value that is name and what is the length of the name name can contain maximum of 10 characters only the okay here i have specified 10 so it can take only 10 values after that i have made a very simple form layout which contains just name value that's it okay and that cdt has been mapped here if you see here that the same cdt name ys customer data has been mapped here ys customer data okay and it will save the value into over this and i have constructed a very simple process model for this one which will store the data so let's see and we will see a uh, few methods to clear this error as well so first of all let us see this value so we will go to the process and start the process for debugging and okay a new instance is generated and let us go to that instance and let's try to put some name which is less than 10 characters okay so for example let us put some name as thomas okay so if i put thomas it is only six characters and we click on submit so if in this way we can see that the data is successfully written to the data store entity and we can verify in the same in the table as well so the same entry if you see here thomas has been written here in our database now let's try with some value which is uh, more than 10 characters and we will see how to clear that so let's start the process for debugging once again and here we have got this form and in this form let's see and this time we will put uh, more than 10 characters so thomas wilson stewart something we have written which is more than 10 characters okay and let's try to click on submit and you can see here now the instance will get break see here the instance and what is the error so if we go to the process variables and see id and name is captured here okay and what is the error present here the error is data too long for column at name one uh, okay data too long so the type value was this one so how to clear it so first method and very simple method of clearing is we will see here very simple method first of all we have to go to the edit process view okay let's go to the edit process view and after that what we will do is we will put a script task from this panel okay and in this script task what we will do we will go to the open the script task go to data tab and after data let's go to outputs and here we will click a new output okay and here in the expression we will try to map the same value so what was the value in our uh, let's see in our process variable we'll try to copy the same value uh, this is the value that we have entered so we'll copy the same value from here and now let's go to back to our script task go to output and new custom output and we will uh, put the expression here so whatever the value we are going to put we will put in quotes so this is greater than like 10 okay so uh, now we can you know like uh, uh, you can uh, use some rule as well to calculate the length for example I am using going to use a function called len and I will put the value here uh, let me put the quotes as well okay let's test the rule so if we test the rule it will give 18 characters it is so we have to decrease some characters okay let's decrease some characters and is it 10 or not 
ha huh, now it is 7 so this value we can uh, write there okay so now we will go back to over this one and instead of this we can write this and we'll click on save and where we have to save it we have to save it to the customer data and in the customer data we can save it to name field and we'll click on ok once this is done we have to go back to the file and apply the changes now the changes have been applied before starting the new uh, before starting this instance please close the edit process view always okay now the pro view has been closed and changes now let's start the script task okay after starting the script task we'll refresh and see that script task is successfully executed and we'll go to the process properties and in the variable now you can see that a new name has come which we have saved now the name is saved there so now we can start our instance as well now it will successfully be started and we can see the instance yeah now the broken process has been cleared and now let's see uh, our database as well uh, if we, I refresh the database, a new entry will be there of Thomas. But uh, sometime like the name field or whatever the len in this way, it is a bit difficult. Uh, you know, <laughs> if you have put a limit like uh, suppose 100 or 250, so you know you have to and you receive characters such as 500. So it is very difficult to put uh, uh, every time delete and uh, put values there. So next time let's see one more method of doing it. So what we will do, we will go back to our instance, let's try to initiate one more journey, okay and we will give some other values here, okay and uh, let's map the values in here, Al Alexander Thomas, okay like this I have put, I guess it is more than 10, yeah let's see. Yeah, it was more than 10. So in this case, again, we are going to do the same, but with a different function this time we'll do. So first of all, we'll go to the edit process view and we'll take a script task. Again, we have put a script task here and uh, go to the data tab and whatever is here, click on new output and in the expression mode, what we will do is we will, there is a function called left. So left function does it it what it returns a specified number of characters from that uh, starting from the first character. So from the left side it will start character and it will count only whatever the limit we have given. So which value is there which has the value customer data dot dot name was there. Okay so dot name field was there and how many characters we want we just want only 10 characters. We just want only characters and now we will save it so in this in this way if you do you don't have to think about uh, uh, you know deleting the characters and again uh, again putting the values so now we will click on apply the changes and we'll delete this node yeah. ah, sorry we'll close the edit process view and now let's start the script task once the script task has been started now let's click there and if you see the process variables now automatically it has taking the first 10 characters only that's it so now we can again go back to our data store and we can start uh, the node and once we have started the node you can see here automatically it has written there okay so now let's refresh the values Okay, so now the value has been written to a database. So these are the methods uh, which is very preferable to clear this kind of broken process. There is one more method we will see uh, to clear it, which uh, it, which is not recommended or sometime it will not be possible to use that method. But anyway, we will see that method as well. So uh, to order to see, let's debug the process once again. And we'll go to the customer data view forms and now after that yeah so let us try to put something like alexander thomas again and we'll click on submit once we have submitted it has broken now we will go to edit process view so if we see the data type what we actually want to do is we will directly map the values in this node only so we will go to this one data type and if you see it, it is our data store entity where it is capturing this value okay 
let's see what is our process variable then we'll go back to this one and this is our process variable so this process variable we have to convert into a dictionary so if you are sure like how a dictionary why to convert so if i take like unnamed interface a dictionary is what like uh, it has curly braces uh, and uh, uh, instead of equal to we have to put colon like this so for example if i take a bank local variables uh, local bank name and in here if i use a bank map function which is for dictionary so it is what id we write by one for example id we have written name and name we write it something like abc so this is what a dictionary format actually looks like key and value pair that is what it is there so this is the key and this is the value this is key and this is value so currently if we see our process instance for this one it is not in key and value pair we have to convert it to key and value pair and we will directly put the value here only so let's try to copy this okay copy it and let's try to go to the unnamed rule okay or any expression rule we can open it and we will put the value here now how to convert to key to value pair first of all what is there in key value pair uh, there is uh, instead of this one what you say instead of this big brackets we will put it the curly braces so this one will be first step is this one will be changed to this curly braces all so first bracket has been changed if you see here first bracket has been changed successfully now this bracket i need to change it so this as well i can do and this one with curly braces now all this is changed in dictionary equal to is not there colon is there so we'll replace the equal to with colon and we'll click on all and if you see it the value has been changed and now the name will be changed to this one and now the name we have to reduce is less than 10 characters so i guess it is 10 okay so it is less than 10 so now we will copy the value from here we'll go back to our instance and what we will do we will go back to the edit process view once again and we will go to the properties data customer data and instead of this value we will directly map whatever the value that we have done so this is the value that we have done huh. instead of id we can put null there because id is primary key in database so it will automatically take from there and now save and close it okay we will apply the changes once again we'll close this uh, edit process view and after that we will start this node okay once we have successfully started this node and you can see here the data has been gone and it has taken let's go to our database as well and we'll refresh the value so you can see here this the same value has been reflected here as well so these were the three methods to clear uh, the data too long broken process so this is how we can clear it so that's all for now thank you all